All right, hold up. You look kind of familiar. You trying to impersonate me? Because your ass look like it belongs in Battle of Z. Me impersonate you? Don't be full of yourself. I'm what they call DLC quality. You, on the other hand, are just like Slow's videos. Click bait and ass. I've already had enough with one of them! It's enough! Swoley, tell this piece of garbage that he needs to go back to Xenoverse 1 where he belongs. Nah, Swoley, you tell this autonomous asshead that we're gonna go get Taco Bell together without him. Oh! Ah! Swoley's getting a headache, even with my penis sized head! Ah, oh, but I know who it is now! <laughs> Hey, yo, wow, Swally, how did you know that I wasn't the imposter and I'm actually the real Goku? Oh, <laughs> oh that was easy, Kakarot. Oh, I play so much of that damn Among Us game. And plus, he said that he was going to invite me to Taco Bell. Oh, Kakarot never does that. Well, Swally, you truly are the homie. Let's go get some Taco Bell. Oh, wait, what? You're a fake ass too? <laughs> All right, what is up? This is Slow Plays back in some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So today, my friends, we are doing things a little bit different. A uh, almost a history based video on Ultra Instinct Goku, one of the most captivating, profound characters uh, in, I guess you could call it a form. I, I don't even know. Like, you know, people say it's a technique. I think it's a form. Uh, I mean, who gives a shit at this point? But yeah, back in 2017, when this character first got revealed, it literally broke the internet. Like, like I remember I was on Twitter. Twitter stopped working, bro. I was like, what's going on? People were shitting bricks the size of dumpster trucks. It was epic. Everybody was hyped. Like, if you were a Dragon Ball fan, Back in 2017, about three years ago, man, it was it was a good time. Tournament of Power was at an all-time high. Video games were thriving. You know, the anime was going on. It was great, bro. It was great. And uh, I wanted to just go back to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 when this character wasn't actually a DLC character yet. That's right. He wasn't. It wasn't even revealed. Nothing. We didn't even know we were still getting DLC, you know, back in 2017 uh, at that time. So this was some, like, big shit. This was, like, some massive stuff. Um, basically, there were tons of uh, mods that were going about their own interpretations, you know, different modders, different creators. There is literally like over 10,000 mods probably on this site, and then you have like 50% of them being Ultra Instinct Goku probably. But um, I remember back in, I believe it was, yeah, in May, May of 2017. Uh, the very first couple of mods that were coming out were based on the intro. Uh, people were thinking and assuming that there would be a new form on this intro because Goku, you know, he, his, he like powers up and there's like this red Kaioken look and then it shows his eye or whatever. Then he breaks through it and then he's fighting Jiren. Super uh, Elsa's here. This seems to be uh, it, just like a Super Saiyan God Kaioken sort of Goku. Nothing too crazy. They, they would refer to this form as the Limit Breaker form. But uh, we really didn't know that much about it at that time. Moving on, you know, fast forward a couple, couple months and everything. Then we have the official, like, I, I guess more official Limit Breaker form. This is in September. Now, I think this is, uh, you know, after we've already seen the cover art where Goku is basically just standing there and it's showing his back, like, you know, the Akuma pose. And he's got like, you know, the, the spiked up hair, but it's still base form. So nobody knew if it was like a new form or not, but you see the steam coming off of him. You know, he's shirtless. He's got like the, I guess like scratches and stuff and like battle damage on him. So one of the very first versions of this that were coming out was uh, this one by Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken times 100. Remember, this is back in 2017. So 
we really didn't see much on this character yet other than uh, like maybe his hair and stuff. So we have another one here by Skiddo Prod. Uh, this one, another very, very solid looking Ultra and Sengoku for whenever it was first released. This was released about a week later. So again, very well done for only seeing like a couple of clips and everything of it at that time and just like a little bit of an appearance. And then we have probably one of the most exciting, best Ultra and Sengoku mods for its time before the DLC even released. This was a fully custom Goku by the Pride Trooper teams. Unfortunately, this team, I don't think they make mods anymore. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've still communicated with some people probably on this team nowadays, but there were a lot of people that worked on this, and this was released in November 11th of 2017. So again, about around 2018-ish, right before we got the official reveal of it. So you can see the official artwork and everything, uh, like, you know, you got gifts and stuff, a custom move set that literally utilizes like, you know, assets and custom. It, it, it was insane. This was before the actual DLC launched. It was ridiculous how well done this was. And then we go to 2018, and then obviously you have extra DLC pack two with the official, you know, only version of Ultra Instant Goku that we got from the developers from Bandai and Dimps, which was the mastered white haired form or whatever, the jizz hair form. Uh, this one, I mean, obviously well done couple things about it that were weird uh you know his audio was a little bit low uh he had this move called godly display which i'm pretty sure he never used in the anime ever but it looked cool it was like a you know white spirit bomb thing but then you know people were like hey where's where's some of these where's omen people wanted the omen form and everything so that's why the omen form seems to have stuck so much in terms of mods and then you know we have now around 2019 to 2020, several mods being released. Um, all very similar, by the way, nothing too different there, but probably my personal favorite one by the last night, AKA Far Night. Uh, I would have to say this is one of the best Ultra Instinct Goku mods out here right now. Highly recommend you guys check this one out. It's, like I said, the most current best version of this. Uh, titled Project Awoken based on the Dragon Ball Fighter skill set. Everything about it, uh, absolutely beautiful. So I thought we'd go through the history of it and try these out for ourselves and see how they stack up to the original Ultra Instinct that we currently have right now. So guys, let's do it. All right, y'all, so here we are in game right now with a couple of the very first Ultra Instinct Limit Breaker Goku mods or whatever. And I will have to say, um, this version of it looks pretty cool. Like, I mean, for its time, when this got first, like, released and everything, it was pretty badass. It has sort of a uh, Super Saiyan God design in terms of the aura and everything. I really do like the hair on this. It's like Rose Goku Black's hair, but recolored and everything. He still has both black eyes and stuff, but this version right here actually does transform into the Limit Breaker form, which is literally just a Kyle Ken God-looking... Super Saiyan Goku, <laughs> I mean, that's what it looks like to me, so, it's pretty crazy, this, you know what this actually looks like, this looks like Super Kyle King Goku right here, that's, that's pretty much what this is, but, a lot of these usually use, like, the base moveset and everything, all the normal stuff, same thing probably with this one, let's, let's check this moveset out here, let's see, yeah, they all, they were all just normal Goku, like, spotting was very, very early at that time, you know, still nothing too custom other than models and stuff, but, um, Pretty well done for its time. Like I said, 2017 wasn't the best in terms of mods, and uh, these are pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. It's just cool going back to the past. Uh, you know, when I was pretty much, I don't want to say growing up with mods, but um, you know, when I was really into the modding community, and I still am to this day. It's just very odd. Uh, you know, the, the feeling that I get. It's it's nostalgic. It's nostalgic. It's like I remember actually experiencing these mods myself at that time and being so excited about them and having so much fun with them. And I mean, to this day, you can still have some fun, but there you have it. I mean, there is the very first couple of ones from early May of 2017 up to more of like August and se September of uh, 2017. Let's go ahead and move on to the next couple of them. All right, so this one right here, I think, utilizes Super Saiyan 4 Goku sort of, like, voice and stuff. I'm almost thinking it sounds a little bit, you know, deeper and everything, which I appreciate. But, uh, model, not the best. We have a couple of texture edits and things going on there, uh, that weren't the best. But, hey, like I said, these are old, old mods. But this is probably the very first, like, 
Ultra Instinct, Ultra Instinct looking Goku. The hair, uh, yeah, it definitely could have used some work, but like I said, you know, Ultra Instinct was very new at that time. The eyes are pretty close to what we initially saw where they were almost like that cat light look. We only got one promo image of it at that time, so we were thinking, oh, okay, so he's got to be like Beerus, but it looks like it's using the Kyle Ken blue aura. I do like the colors on this. The colors on this are very cool. Um, this mod made him ridiculously fast. Like, you know, he's, he's a little bit Sanic speed. Baby Jesus, not my lover kind of style. You know what that shit is? Like, yeah, my boy Jiren, you know, he still skipped leg day, but, you know, you we still wish. got this Goku here. He's a little bit more custom. I'm not gonna lie, this one got a little bit more crazy. Um, I think the moveset is still normal Goku's moveset, which again, you know, nobody had touched the moveset at the time, except for the, uh, you know, Pride Troopers, whenever they made their own thing. But, uh, this one utilizes a Meteor Crash. We have a true Kamehameha, which has no sound effects for whatever reason. I don't know why. Like I said, this is a very old, broken mod, and I'm using this on one of the newer versions of the game. So I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised that some of these are running as well as they are, you know what I mean? But like, yeah, he's ridiculously fast, but looks like he has Savage Strike uh, from Vegito Blue. So this was definitely after uh, July slash August of 2017 uh, at the time, because we actually didn't have Savage Strike as a custom move. But uh, we also have this one called God Charge, which seems to be a charge up from, I believe it's like the Time Breaker characters, either Mira or Demigra or Final Form Mira or something like that. His face, he's like, what up, bitch? <gasps> My eyes look like coins from Mario. <laughs> Literally, that's what they look like, bro. So we also have this one called Limit Explosion, which is just, you know, again, one of those like evil explosion what? type of moves. Already? Something's up with the sound effects. I don't know why those aren't working, but we have an <laughs> Ultimate no. Dragon Fist. I don't know what's ultimate. Oh, okay. Ultimate Dragon Fist because it's, it's black and orange? That is one of the weirdest looking recolors of Dragon Fist, but pretty cool. And it looks like it freezes you at the very end, so that's that's real promising. Uh, full power limit break Kamehameha. Oh, that's great. Camera angles get a little bit messed up. Still no sound effects except for whenever you actually hit your opponent. Uh, again, it's very weird uh, playing this. I don't remember playing this mod in particular because, again, there are so many Ultra Instant Goku mods that came out simultaneously at the same time whenever we got to the of it. But this is actually, uh, this one's actually pretty dope. I, I like this one a lot. All right, so it does have a transformation titled the Limit Breaker because, again, we didn't know it was Ultra Instinct. It was just, we call him Limit Breaker Goku here. But, oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. It actually has a little bit of a, like, uh, not custom animation, but a different animation. I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, this is like Uzaru, like Great Ape Uzaru eyes or something like that. And I could see what he was going for. And maybe I did showcase this one. I feel like I have seen this form, this, like, transformation animation before. But uh, it looks like what is, what is even going on with this Goku. So it has, like, this 3D effect, and then he charges it up. Oh, okay. All right, I see uh, yeah, the aura is absurd. I don't know what the hell this is. This man's aura is like 70% of the screen right now. Like, it's, it's it's too big. He got even faster than before. This man is literally... he His, his speed is not even matching the, the, uh, the leg movement. It makes no sense. Like, there's, there's no sense to be made out of this ball. But he's OP now. He's OP. Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Yeah, he, he literally one-hit KOs. Is this the Omni King of Saiyans, but Ultra Instinct Goku saw? What is one punch does that much damage. Look at that. One strong hit does that much damage. What if I use Savage Strike? That just kills him in one hit. God bless. Okay, so, yeah, this was a pretty crazy mod uh, back in the day. All right, let's keep moving on. Yo, okay, this one is going to be a throwback. So, this is officially when we got Ultra Instinct Goku revealed in the anime for the like you know very first time and everything the eyes look amazing the hair is really really cool for its time and i still really like this mod like the hair just like the look of it it's pretty badass uh he's got the battle damage going on and he's got that custom ultra instant goku aura which was very well done for its time like everything like little details uh you know like the little like bursts of light that are kind of going on right there as well like just so much stuff and he had the epic badass walk and everything too 
He was a lot thinner, you know, because, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku was a little bit more thin, uh, just because of the Dragon Ball Super design and everything. But uh, his moveset was definitely custom, using some, like, Vegito Blue strings in there. You have, obviously, some, you know, Goku uh, strings and normal stuff there. But it was, like I said, when I first played this, I was blown away. Like, how did a team make this? And look at this. He has that kick. He has the freaking, like, trademark kick that he did to Jiren. Which is in the move set, and I was so surprised when I saw this there. But yeah, some things um, aren't working the best just because things break, and uh, you know, like I said, things happen. But he has the knees. Yes, yes, he definitely has the knees. There's a name for that move or whatever, but it's the five hit combo, which I love this. And uh, at the time, like I, I didn't even notice it because I only saw Ultra Instinct, you know, in the anime that one episode at the time. But you can tell that. This team, the Pride Troopers, by the way, Kefla's ass, though. Yeah, she, um, or not she, but he, you know, was well done for, for the time with all that detail by the Pride Troopers. Like, the Pride Troopers were paying attention. They knew exactly what they were doing. Like, they knew their shit with this, man. I, I was so blown away by it. But let's go and try out the China Square here, if there even is one. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. First that. And he has a karate chop. So, like I said, um, his triangle moveset seems to have a couple of glitches at the very end there. I think he was supposed to do something, but uh, it's a very old mod now, so things can break. Uh, but still, really, really awesome. I think he, I'm assuming he has the dragon throw. Yeah, he still has his classic dragon throw. So, you still retain a lot of Goku stuff, um, you know, from back in the day and everything. But uh, does he have a limit burst? He actually does. He actually does. Now, limit burst is obviously a new mechanic that, you know, this Goku wasn't, you know, made for at the time. But he has this move called Soaring Kamehameha, which is uh, the one that, I don't want to say it was the, the one, it wasn't called Soaring Kamehameha, but uh, it's basically the uh, jumping Kamehameha blast or whatever that he actually has, um, you know, in the anime he used something like this, uh, where he blasts Jiren after going for like a crazy amount of hits. He does it in Legends now too and everything, uh, I forget the name of it, but uh, we also have Dragon Rush. Uh, again, so this Ultra Instinct Goku actually does have an auto dodge, but uh, it was Whis's auto dodge from the very start of whenever the game first released. Uh, I believe it was one of the very first quests or whatever. And uh, basically, what this Super Soul does is it screws everything up to where you're constantly instant transmission. Uh, you know, abilities you're going through. We also have Celestial Barrage, which seems to be a recolor of the Dragon Fist to be more of a purple color. This is pretty cool. Uh, but I will say that uh, when I would use this mod, it was really annoying that he would do this instant transmission sort of thing. But we also have Neo Shift, which is just pretty much the after image kind of technique or whatever. We got this one called Bi Biako Strike, which seems to just be Dragon Fist. Oh, it's recolored to be a white and purple color. With the Ultra Instant colors and all that stuff there. But um, again, really, really cool looking. And, uh, you know, it makes sense. The Dragon Fist, one of Goku's most ultimate moves. Then we have the Ultra Burst Kamehameha, which has a cool animation and everything, too. But I will tell you uh, the voice and everything as well. Like, listen to this. Yeah, it's got a bit of an echo going on, like a little second voice. So, like I said, man, it, it, was, it was pretty cool for its time. Uh, I can turn on the actual, like, you know, AI and see how this auto dodge would work and show you guys, like, it was it was legit. This this was one of the best, if not the best, Ultra Instinct Goku mod that ever came out, you know, before the DLC actually released. So, I'm telling y'all, it's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. But uh, we'll compare one of the old ones to the newest one. So, guys, here it is. Here it is. Both Ultra Instinct Goku uh, variations. Obviously, this uses revamp assets, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same of what you would, uh, you know, see from Ultra Instinct Goku as the DLC. But this is supposed to be the actual developer's version. Uh, colors are enhanced. It looks a little bit better to me, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, like I said, it's a revamp team that actually created this version of it. But for the most part, it still is retaining the 2018 model and everything. But, uh, I mean, they have very similar muscle masses. This one's a little bit more pink. Uh, it's got that Kaioken aura. But, uh, it's, you know, it's, you can see that there was a lot of work and different interpretations put into all these different mods for their time. And it's just crazy seeing them side by side like the literal stark differences that are going on like my man tony stark out here like this is it's pretty crazy it's it, it's it blows my mind how much mods and 
uh, you know, models and things evolved over the past three years, only three years. And, you know, we got this amazing looking revamp model and stuff of Ultra Instinct Goku. But uh, other than that, I mean, you get the picture. Things change a lot. And I love all these mods to death. So let's finish this off proper, guys. Alright guys, so to finish off the absolute epic evolution of Ultra Instinct Goku and mods here in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, we're going to be using my personal favorite, uh, the Project Awoken by my boy Farnai. Oh, the sick custom animation, it never gets old, it really doesn't. So, my boy's out here, uh, they both have their sick auto dodge, they definitely have um, different auras I think if I'm not mistaken, but um, my man already doing a freaking dodge, yo, he, he said I'm a dodge, but I love this moveset, yeah, he definitely has a more different moveset at the time of the release, but uh, both of these Gokus are extremely brittle, like, they they will, like, literally die. Oh, I love that! This moveset, dude, it's so dope. Oh! Break his stamina with it, and then this one also has that same kind of kick or whatever, and then we have the nice Ultra Instinct Full Power Transformation. What do you guys prefer to call this form? Like, I've, I've asked that several times before, but some people like to call it, you know, different, like, forms and things, but... I got that nice golly display to finish it off. Like, they're like, oh, okay, is it perfected? Is it mastered? I don't fucking know. <laughs> but you can see how much better this version is than the actual developer's version. That's just my opinion. Obviously, it uses developer's assets and everything. But um, the, the combos and the actual skills itself literally expand upon what we already have. And I'm truly grateful for the amount of work that went into all of these mods for their time. And it's just really cool to see. I would have to say that this was probably my favorite in terms of the hair. I really like the hair on this one. But this one right here was definitely the best Ultra Instinct Goku that came out at its time. So uh, let me know which one was your favorite or if you guys remember. Like reminisce with me down in the comment section. I love uh, to hear your comments about, uh, you know, the evolution of how mods have just changed and stuff. And I love mods. So uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring my notification bell. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this video as well. I'll do more like this. Stay safe and have a blessed day.